saddle nice day look blue sky phenomenon oh come on wake up okay so we are going for a ride to town for a Starbucks for no other reason than sun's out so got the wife on the back So, on the subject, oh, left the indicator on. So, on the subject of pillions, do I ride differently? In a word, yes. But it completely, it relies on the confidence of your pillion, to be honest with you. My wife's quite good in the back, she, uh, well, I always tell them, bag of potatoes. When I turn, just go with it, go with the bike and relax, you know. But you do ride differently because you have to look further ahead and plan ahead. There's absolutely no need for heavy acceleration and heavy braking if you just plan ahead a bit more. The aim is that your pillion should want to go for a ride with you again, so there's no point to show off and you know, have them gripping on with white knuckles or anything like that. So just chill out, look ahead, take it easy, sturdy on the throttle, and give yourself plenty of room for braking. Engine batch. Uh, as for filtering, again, depends on the confidence of your pillion. I don't like to scare her, so if there's no real reason or there's not loads of room, then I don't bother. I just take it easy. You just want to enjoy the ride, don't you? Still bloody cold. We are at I think between zero and one degree C. I'm not sure how that translates to Fahrenheit, but boy, it's cold. <laughs> She's just patting her legs behind me. She loves it. See, all that happens if you start revving up too fast or braking too fast. Cheers for doing your bloody windows. That just got me covered. Thank you very much. I hate it when they do that. Yeah, so if you're basically riding like a hooligan showing off, all you're going to do is make them stiffen up. And believe it or not, a pillion on the back, if they're stiff and they don't, you feel it. You really do. It affects your ride. Uh, when I first start taking on the back. I was pretty much riding as normal. I was filtering all over the place. And uh, she stiffened up and nearly put me in the side of a car. Um, so it's just not worth it. If you've got plenty of room and you can do it nice and relaxed, then fine. But if you're cramped and you're going to be ducking and weaving, you've got to take into account that you've got a girl on the back who can't control the bike. Or a block on the back. I don't know. I don't know who you take out. None of my business, but you know. If they're twitchy and that, uh, it, it really does affect your handling and you, you just you've got to take that into account. So like I say, relax, enjoy. There's not much room there. She usually lets me know. Tightening it there. Alright, look for a place to pull in. You're looking good. Oh, 
Don't do it. <laughs> There's a dog fight going on. Now, if this guy's nice, give you a look over his shoulder just to let him know I am coming in. And that's it, just sliding. I apologise if the wind's bad. But uh, zero degrees and chatting away, you tend to fog out your visor so quickly. I have a red light. Oh, go to green. <laughs> Not in any rush. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? <laughs> uh, Mrs. Sola had dealt. Got a squeeze in the knees. I know what you're doing, she's as if to say. So we are going to go to Union Square in Aberdeen. It's just basically a shopping place, but it's got decent bike parking, so we'll go for a wander up. I think we're going to pop into Apple and have a look because, well, we both video vlog, so. Look at me speaking like I've done it for years. But yeah, we both vlog, so um, having a one desktop computer, it gets to be a bit of a pain in the ass. I really need to clean my visor. And there's a Starbucks at the end, so yippee! Also want to try out the GoPro chest harness. What the hell's going on here? Oh, it's a bus. <laughs> Another tip for you. If your pillion is a little bit unsure, fit a top box. Gives them something to lean back on. You can even get a pad for them. <laughs> That gives them a little bit of security. Thank you. Wow, courtesy from a drag driver. If you go down to the woods today, flashing orange. So yeah, just a short trip. I have to keep them short when it's this cold. I think. Oh, she was cute. Another light. What the hell? It's green. Get a red bomb. Gotta do it. Red bomb. <laughs> uh, another knee clencher from the missus. I'm not sure it's because she was scared though. Squealy brakes. And here we are, Union Square parking. There's usually a fucking wolf pack of mother pets here. Delivery riders, you know.
was the first time with the GoPro on a chest harness. Uh, God, was I self-consciously. People have really, really weird reactions. The number of people I heard saying, you got a camera on. I think they thought I was like a secret shopper or something. Tight turn. Steady on the clutch, off we go. So I'm doing myself a favour and I'm trying to watch my language because I didn't realise how much I swore. Oh, the other thing as well, you hear your voice for the first time, you know when you hear it on a recording or something. Um, yeah. And you're like, oh my god, is that what I sound like? Everyone has got like this idea of what they sound like. And then they hear themselves on a recorder and you're like, oh my god, sound like a chipmunk and his bullets just dropped. Oh, that was a tight break. So what I said earlier about controlling your braking... Went out the window. Yeah, well, should have really given him more distance. Not his fault, my fault. But I kind of find as a rider, you have to... You know, it's, it's a continuous learning curve. You always have to self-critique, try and improve. I mean, that's why I'm doing the vlog in the first place, to be honest. Like, cause when I came back to biking, because there was like... There was a five year gap. Is it? Yeah, there was a five year gap. Um, I didn't touch bikes for a while. Uh, and then I went back to it. Now, rather than lay out for a, a back to biking course, which, do you know what I fully advise you do? I couldn't really afford it, but if you can, do it. I mean, you can't, there's a few hairy moments that first week. A course like that would have benefited me somewhat chronic. So what I had was YouTube, and I went on and I'm gonna name drop a bit here, watching things like Roadcraft Nottingham or Thunderous 71. Great channels. Um, Roadcraft's more instructional. You can just tell you all the tips and tricks, and you know it gets you back into it. Uh, Thunderous, well, he just basically commutes, but talks all the way, and it's surprising what you can pick up just from a just from an everyday commute with someone and I'm fully grateful to those guys they, uh, they helped me out so if you haven't seen them go check out the channel uh, like here I'm going to fill it to the front because I can see there's plenty of room and it's not going to unnerve the pillion the pillion my wife I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I love my heated grips. Well, that was naughty. It's a bus lane, is it? No, it's not. It's outside the time. <laughs> Coming home. Sorry if this is a bit of a boring one. Let's see what I can do. Versus patch. Pointless 101. Ride safe, guys. See you next time. Yeah.